Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel if you're on things. How you doing, how you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. Earlier today I made a video, no chems again. I'm looking at the sky approximately at 7.30 at night, watching this object that we call our sun start to set. As you can see, there's trees in the way, so I can't see past those trees. One thing I did notice, the sky was a big one-way mirror, but I couldn't see any chemtrails per se. Chemtrail particulates... Oh yeah, 100%, but no chemtrails. Now this plane is not dumping chemtrails, it's water vapour out of the engines. You know, like on a cold day, when you get that water vapour out of your exhaust or your kettle or whatever it might be, that is what we're getting just there. But how wrong when you make a video can you be? Because an hour later, this happens. As you can see, the date is exactly the same, 15th of the 7th, 2019, Monday, 2030, 26 seconds, 8.30 at night, approximately an hour after I made the last video. I'm sitting inside doing paperwork. I go outside, look up in the sky, and I'm thinking to myself, where did that lot come from? I need to get a camera on this and see what occurs. An hour and a half's worth of footage we're looking at, condensed into one minute and 30 seconds, approximately. Two boxes identical apart from this box has a filter in it called equalize brings the color contrast brightness and saturation all to the same level we get to see a lot more detail and definition a lot more than the human eye can pick up here we've got the sun simulator yes the sun simulator it's a big led torch in the sky it's white what color is our sun it's yellow that can be seen just behind it no sun no life it's still there we can also see something else, a lot of red going on, but also we can see a circle that's going around the outside of this, and that is the lens system being projected backwards onto the lens of the camera. We get to see that in the form of sun halos, ice crystals, and out the side of those sun halos we get sun dogs. I bet the ice cream man doesn't sell those sun halo ice crystal dogs but I'm just saying. And also you can see how the chemtrails interact with the sun simulator, how bright and white and look, it looks like a great big one way mirror. Down here you can see what I call the curtain of darkness as this object sets. So let me show you what occurs. I'm just gonna gloss over this very, very quickly, but we need to pay attention to the background here. These chemtrail particulates, it's uh, all orangey and red and how they change into that curtain of darkness. I've talked about so many different times and how these chemtrails act. Look at these planes going through the sky. Not actually chemtrails, or are they? Are they spraying something new in the sky? Not rightly too sure. The camera starts adjusting, and I'm sure it is just adjusting. Or is the sky flashing and pulsing? Look in the background here, it's starting to get very, very dark. We're getting a multitude of colours in the background. And this is how the chemtrails act. They make it so hard to see anything in the background at all. I move the camera and watch how these chemtrails just here just disappear like they were never there in the first place. That red object is setting with our sun and sun simulator the red spinning planet. We've seen it so many different times and you can see the controls just dissolve. Like I said, like they were never there. I've put an arrow here just to remind me because something comes across the sky. It looks like chevrons. It's very, very hard to see. And you can just see him just there moving across. But I'm sure what we're looking at is clouds. There's three or four of them and just disappear into the background. Could it be something cloaked? Green, orange, red, yeah. Everything looks totally, totally normal. Of course it does. Then, on the same camera, the next morning, let me show you what I found. Now it's six and a half hours later, and it's the 16th of the 7th, 2019, 10 minutes past the hour of four, I'm sitting in the office, I'm reviewing some CCTV. I look over at the screens and something catches my eye. I move the camera around and that's what we're going to look at right now. 
We're looking at the moon and the reason we're looking at the moon because I noticed it looked extremely red around the outside. Going outside it did have a tinge and the sky has always had a tinge for quite a long time. It's been quite red at night, very very dark red. But of course that wouldn't be possible now. What you're just about to see happens extremely quickly in real time. And it actually happens within approximately two minutes or thereabouts. And it's, uh, for me, doesn't make any sense. First of all, we're getting a blood red moon. That shouldn't be possible because we only get to a year and they are definitely 100% announced. Many people will try and tell you what you're looking at is a blood red moon that goes through the atmosphere. That's the atmosphere that causes it. Over on the right hand side, you can see a box appeared and we're using that filter equalize. It just, uh, why is it red round the outside? This just proves what I'm saying. The sky does look a little bit cartoony, but I think that's because of the darkness. But yet again, this object is starting to get red. Which direction is it getting red from? All over. It shouldn't happen like that. If it's going through or past the atmosphere, and don't forget our moon is in our atmosphere, so... Why would that actually possibly, yeah, it should be red all the time then. That's what they tell us. You can see it's getting red down here and up here. I can understand down here, but up here, not a chance. And then all of a sudden, it will just get extremely red. So we're told our atmosphere should make this effect happen. Another 12, another 18 now, should I say, we get our eclipse. And talking about that very, very quickly, I posted a video last night about people taking pictures of the moon. Now, when I researched this article about two or three months ago, we were told that we could not see it in the UK. And I was looking forward to seeing the eclipse, but it told me I couldn't. But when I researched it again after releasing the video, I found out that we could. So I didn't really want to mislead anybody. And that is very, very important. I actually made a mistake. Hands up. Or was it changed? I'm not really too sure. But it's better to delete the video than mislead people. That is the most important thing. But if you've got any pictures of the clips, please send them over. And yes, there you go. Our moon is setting red. Now, why would that be? Maybe there's a red object in the sky behind our sun and sun simulator that they don't want us to look at. Let me show you a bit of footage that happened 15 hours later that day and everything is always red, but it's very, very local. 16th of the 7th, 2019, 20, 57 and 18 seconds, approximately 15 hours after the last bit of footage. Yes, I have been home and been to sleep. But I look up in the sky, I see this and I need to turn the camera around because this was red. This object here, we call our sun, was red. But the camera sees it in a different way. It brings it out in a different light. We get to see three different colours, white, yellow and red. Why is it red around the outside? What colour is our sun? It's yellow. We can see it just here, yellow. Why is it red around the outside? Why is it white on the inside? Over here, the equalize, and you can see how horrible and nasty these clouds look. Very artificial, very cartoonish. Yellow in the background, green. Yeah. How do two pictures change? What I'm going to do is play this. It's about 20 minutes worth of clip, condensed into about two minutes or thereabouts. And... Here we go. Like I said, this object was red. Why is it red? Would there be something behind the sun? Oh yes, indeed. We've seen it many different times. The red spinning planets. Everything looks normal. Everything looks natural. Oh, what a wonderful sunset it is. Why is it so local? What does yellow and red make? It makes orange. 
yellow. Look at that, orange. Red and orange. Yeah, okay. Over here, you can see that uh, the sky looks totally, totally different, obviously, because it's in a filter. But that really is the true, yeah, whatever you like, because people still ain't going to believe what I've got to say. Look at the chemtrails in the background here. Look how red it is. Why is it only red just very, very locally and not on the rest of the clouds? You can see this spy and the camera, like I said, just brightens it up. Now, very, very quickly, I've got to state something here because many people out there have seen NASA. They've said they're spraying lithium in the sky. So we'll get to see a lot of red in our sky and red sunsets. Well, I've got a little bit of homework for each and every one of you. What happens if you put lithium and mix it with oxygen or maybe water? There ain't a price, but it makes common sense. We're told something. Are we actually paying attention? Because if you spray lithium in the skies, well, you let me know. Any rate, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's normal. Why is it always red? Why is it always red? You can see how red it is just here. You can see how red it is just here. A red planet setting with our sun and sun simulator. Of course, if there was something wrong, our governments would have told us now. Unfortunately, this isn't the video I wanted to make. This just happened. There's more to come. If you want to know about the sun simulator, and I'm going to prove it exists. If you want to know how everything goes together and proof, well, you need to be subscribed. Hit that notification bell. If you like my work, please share it. Anyway, that's all I've got for you now.